Nope, I'm dead. I couldn't reload. There's at least one more coming to the left, I think. Oh, and then... That's not good. I got what I wanted, I don't care. <laughs> oh, oh my god, another two. Push this way anyway, so. Yep, they're already here. Oh my god. Squad feed. You don't know me, bro. Oh, they left. They left. They can't handle the SKS. Ah. Oh. You would have turned on me. Can you imagine? Woo. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the SKS Marksman Rifle that was added here recently in Season 3. However, before we get into that, I want to yet again say thank you to everyone that has subscribed lately, even to my old subscribers. You guys have been killing it, and it's, it's amazing. I cannot tell you how much it means to me. We gained over 20 subs on Tuesday alone, which is the most subs I've ever had in one day, being that I'm a smaller channel. Um, you know, and, and it helps out so much. Every time I see that subscriber count go up, it just makes me want to make more and more videos get a better quality of videos, you know, do everything I can to make sure you guys are actually enjoying the content. So, um, another thing, the likes have been nuts on the hardcore search and destroy video. It's just like every time I've, I've looked at my videos to see if there's any new comments or anything, it's just likes after likes. So truly blessed for you guys. And I appreciate that. Um, I've been having a lot of fun making videos except for this one. Okay. <laughs> this has been the most frustrating gameplay that I've tried to get since like the game released okay it's been extremely difficult to get a gameplay with SKS and I apologize because of that this isn't going to be up to the normal standard that I have this isn't like a super high kill game of 90 or 100 kills there's no nuke and that's usually the standard that I have it's either a nuke or a super high kill game um, the reason being is because my internet has been very spotty lately like right now, I'm looking at my modem and it's just red across. It, it's it's terrible internet connection. I ended up calling my provider. I had everything checked, and they said the reason I'm having so many issues is because there's almost three times the normal service being used with them right now. So, unfortunately, until they can find a way to balance it out, it's going to be a little tough. And to top that off, I've had two different games back to back where I was on a streak. I think the first game was on a 15, second game I was on a six, or a, a 20, and the enemy team left and the game was forfeited. So, trust me, it's not a lack of trying that I don't have a nuke for you, it's just unfortunately things are not going my way. However, the SKS is a great weapon. I absolutely love it. The only thing that kind of sucks is it almost reminds me of like the FAL when this game first came out. If you guys remember, the FAL had a very slow ADS time. The recoil was unmanageable, but we all knew it could be a good weapon, right? Like, and, and now it is. It's not going to necessarily be an M4 every time, but if you have a good trigger finger and you can snap on your shots, it's, it's amazing. The cool thing about this weapon is just like you saw, it does get the one-shot headshots, so you can go for some awesome feeds that I got, you know, earlier and things that you saw in the intro clips. Um... Hopefully, though, since because I, I really like using this weapon, so hopefully what they'll do is they'll give it a buff, they'll up the ADS, they'll lower the recoil a little bit, and I'm not asking for a lot, but like stippled grip tape on this weapon would make it amazing. That's that's really all I'd want. If I had that, I would, I'd be fine. I'd be whatever. You can control the recoil enough or at least learn the recoil pattern. So um, let me show you guys what I'm using here. I only dropped 70 kills, so again, I apologize, but let me show you what I'm rocking, and we'll get into it. All right, guys, so this is what we're running on our SKS. We have the TAC laser, which is going to help with the ADS speed, the aiming stability, and the aim walking steadiness, along with the GI mini reflex, the sawed-off stock, focus, and the Merc foregrip. So basically what this setup does is it gives you the most um, ADS, the most versatile weapon, and you can still control the recoil with the Merc foregrip, and then focuses to help flinch resistance. That helps so 
much. Now, for those of you that don't mind the iron sights, you could take off the GI Mini Reflex. You could add like the 30 round mags. The, these mags, the, the 10 round mag is awful. It is terrible. You should never use it. <laughs> Just letting you know. Um, you could take off the GI Mini Reflex. You could add on a barrel. I don't recommend adding on the para barrel. The recoil gets crazy, even with Merc 4 grip. If anything, I might slap on like a monolithic suppressor or something like that. Um, I personally like having the Renetti as my secondary. It works really well with the, the SKS. And here's the setup that I have. You can see that in another video that I posted. And then we have EOD Ghost Amped with C4 and Stem just like normal. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and sub if you're new. We'll be getting a lot of subs, a lot of momentum on the channel, and I truly appreciate it. Also, I am going to be doing another video in search. You guys, if you are still here, number one, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. But also, if you want me to, I will do another hardcore search and destroy video. If not, I'm going to go ahead and stick with core. So you guys comment down below, decide for me. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Perfect.